This is the entry from the New York Institute of Technology, and they just won an honorable mention. David Sheeran is one of the team leaders. Hey, David. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you very much. Good job. Now, these I've seen before, photovoltaic panels. Yes, photovoltaics convert sunlight directly into electricity. <laughs> and they're making great advances with this technology every day. Now, these panels are commercially available nowadays? They are, but out back, we are working on what we think is the future of energy. Back here is our hydrogen system. Tell me more. This is the technology we're really excited about. I'd like you to meet Greg Sachs, our lead engineer. Hey, Greg, Richard Thuy. Hello. Can you take a few minutes and explain a hydrogen system to me? I'd love to. Well, as you saw around front, we start with our photovoltaic panels. Yeah. The question is, what do we do with the power from our photovoltaic panels? First, we're going to send it to the house to do typical things like cook, lighting. All the household needs. Exactly. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to send it to this room to the hydrogen generator hydrogen and make generator. hydrogen gas. So tell me, how does this all work? Well, the hydrogen generator has two inputs. First is water. That's H2O, I remember from That's right. Day. That's right. And photovoltaic power. So this comes from the panels with electricity? Right from the panels with electricity. Okay, so what happens inside the box? Well, what it does is it takes the water, as you said, H2O, and breaks it up. And we're going to into hydrogen and oxygen. We're actually going to store that hydrogen. It's going to come out this line, and it's going to the tanks until we need the hydrogen later on. And that's a gas at that point? That's a gas. Okay, so now you've got a tank filled with hydrogen gas. What does that do for the house for electricity? Well, when it's dark out, when it's nighttime, when we don't have power from the photovoltaic panels, we're going to take that gas, convert it back into electricity. How do you do that? We're going to do that by using a fuel cell. And on the roof, we have a fuel cell, which is actually what's going to make that electricity for us. Okay, so another box. So what happens inside that? How do you make the electricity? Well, a fuel cell works very similar to a battery. We have positive plates, we have negative plates. On, next to the positive plate, we send the hydrogen gas. Next to the negative plate, we send air. And what's inside air? Oxygen. Oxygen. Sure. So we set up a condition where that hydrogen and the oxygen want to become water again. They want to go back to one. Yep. And in, but in order for that to take place, we actually, it actually is going to generate electricity, and it's going to send out an electron down the positive plate and come back on the negative plate. And we're going to use that electricity in the house. So the byproduct of that is electricity and what? And, and water, okay. as we discussed. So what do you do with that? What we're going to do is we're going to harness that water right from the fuel cell, and it's going to drain right back down into the tank where we began the whole process. So you're now you're back to the beginning of the cycle, and it's, and it's complete. Exactly. Amazing. I mean, David, how soon is something like this going to ever be commercially available? This is what we think is a very important demonstration project to show. You can use hydrogen in the house, you can also use it in the car. We think it's perfectly reasonable for hydrogen to replace fossil fuels within 15 to 20 years. Oh boy, I'm excited. Greg, thank you. Thank you. Now David, I am running late. Can you, guys, can you give me a lift back to the airport? Why don't you take a ride with me in the electric car? Oh! Can I drive? This time <laughs> I'll drive. <laughs> I don't know.